Hey everyone, it is Friday, February 23rd. The time is 12.41 p.m. and I am here at Kennedy Subway Station. And this is at the terminus of line two. I'm all the way out in an area known as Scarborough. So both of these trains here will be westbound and as you can see, this will be the next train to depart. And the station opened back in 1980. And it also used to serve the Scarborough RT up until last year. That was a line that opened in 1985. But due to what could only be described as neglect, it was shuttered last year. And what's interesting is the Vancouver SkyTrain runs on the same system, and there are no plans to shutter that system. And these are the Toronto bus bays here. There's a list of all the different buses you could catch from the station well, on two different platforms. But for this one, I'm gonna try to find my way out of the station and onto Eglinton Avenue there. And then I will be walking west through a part of town called Ion View and then through the Golden Mile. And that is along Eglinton between Birchmount and Victoria Park. It's also worth noting they are extending the subway from here up to Scarborough. But that is unlikely to open for at least a decade, I would think. And this is also the terminal station of the Crosstown LRT. They started building the station itself over there. That was supposed to open in 2021. And when I came here in 2021 and made a video, I mentioned that it had been delayed till 2022, which is kind of hilarious because here we are in 2024 and there is no opening day in sight. And you would think getting to Eglinton Avenue would be quite easy, given the station is just south of the street. But that will not be the case unless something has changed. There's also a go commuter station here. So we have emerged outside. There's where the RT turnaround used to be. I imagine that'll be dismantled. And last time I was here, this area was blocked off so you could not access Eglinton Avenue. So going for a bit of a detour. This area has opened up. Let's see if we can get there. And that's where you'd be able to access the LRT if and when it finally opens.
this is at least an improvement over the past few times that I was up here. And I think Kennedy is the fifth busiest station in the system, and that ranking might rise once this station opens up, or this section of the station. So this block should be a little over three and a half kilometers or so. And there's a the look west along Eglinton. You think? There would be a pedestrian crossing here so people on the other side of the street could better access the subway station. Well, I guess there's an underpass over there. That's quite a ways away. And now we're heading west on the south side of Eglinton Avenue. And Scarborough here sits on the east end of Toronto. It used to be its own municipality, but in 1998 it was amalgamated into the rest of the city as part of the mega city. It's very car centric with seemingly little focus on transit. And over the past four decades, the majority of the population here have been newcomers to Canada. And this is Kennedy Road, and you can see way off in the distance a lot of towers around Young and Eglinton which is Midtown, where I'm eventually heading. And there's plans to redevelop this building here into a 35-story tower. And just west of here, there was a plaza that was mostly boarded up the last time I came through here. I'm wondering what the status of that is. Scarborough is definitely a land of strodes. And plazas and strip malls. Here's where the LRT will emerge above ground. So we started at Candy Station, and the next stop should be Ion View, and then Birchmount, I think Golden Mile, one called Hakimi Lebovich, and then Pharmacy, and then Bizarrely O'Connor, and that one will be at Victoria Park. And here's that plaza. I do not know what the plans are for here.
there's a very much what appears to be open dental clinic. If you know what the plans are for this lot, let me know down in the comments because it's been like this for about four years now at least. I imagine the 34 Eglinton bus service will be drastically cut down once the LRT opens. They'll still be necessary to service a lot of the stops. Hey, there's an LRT train being tested. <laughs> That's a neat sight. Metrolinks, the provincial transit agency charged with building this line and the rest of the new lines going up. I think they've said there's still just a few more kinks to iron out, but they won't commit to a firm opening date. It's effectively an underground streetcar and kind of idiotically, despite being mass transit that is underground for much of the way, when they do emerge above ground, they don't have signal priority. So they'll be waiting at red lights, just like everyone else. And no doubt accidents and things will cause holdups on the LRT. There's an instructor in that carriage, so they must be training a new operator. Again, that stop is Ion View. It's kind of disappointing that they build mass transit, but in the winter, you'll be left waiting for vehicles out in the elements. Hopefully that's a good sign and things will be opening sooner than later. Apparently there's been water seepage issues at some of the underground stations. Most of the western part of the line is underground and the eastern part is above ground. The LRT will be 25 stops in total. And this area is mostly a working class area. Good to see a bike lane make an appearance. That was supposed to come up 
with the LRT. It's been a bit of an afterthought. Traffic on Eglinton can get a bit hairy, and as you can see, it's not a protected bike lane. In some parts it is, but for the most part, it appears just to be a painted line. And we've got another eastbound train here. We haven't seen a westbound one yet. Building there, 1021, reminds me of the buildings in Korea. Where they paint the building number and giant characters on the side. Makes it easier for people to locate the building they're heading to. Two five Eglinton Avenue, bachelors one and two bedrooms available at Greenwood Greenwin.ca. You can look up what those go for. Stop is Birch Mount. Interesting that Iron View was on the west side of the intersection, and this one is on the east side. And this is where the Golden Mile starts. I almost said Green Mile. a commercial district from Birchmount all the way over to Victoria Park. I think there's five major shopping centers along the way. There's a Mandarin buffet across the street. The area also extends to the north and south of here. There's over 55,000 people living in the area. to World War II, this was primarily farmland. It was settled by Scottish immigrants back in the 1820s. And there were a number of munitions plants here in the 40s to support the war effort. And they were located here to be just far enough from downtown and the major population centers. If there was an accident, it wouldn't result in total catastrophe. The 
Scotiabank Eglinton campus. This street is Sinat Road. And just to the left here is a detention center. Let's see if we can get a better view of that in a moment. That's the Toronto East Detention Center. There's a Rio Can Power Center across the street. One thing that is few and far between here our pedestrians. There's a look at the detention center. I guess prison is a better term for it. And this was famously referenced in the reggae song by Snow called Informer. There's a Costco across the street. I think this area probably has the largest concentration of big box retailers in the city. There you can see the green LRT tracks. Hey, we have a westbound train. This would be no fun if you're in a wheelchair. Sidewalk closed. Car dealership, a Staples, it'll be interesting to see once this line is up and running. How this area develops. I imagine some condos will be popping up along this corridor. It'll be a case of if they build it, will they come? There's a Kelsey's, a suburban family style restaurant. I've not been to one of those in over a decade, I would think. Probably closer to two.
That one just has a loan operator. They are pretty quiet. It'll be interesting to see how much time they save over the average bus along Eglinton. Back in the 90s, there was actually a subway under construction on Eglinton West. Shovels were in the ground, and there were eventual plans to extend it east. Probably something that would have been done or underway by now. We had a penny-pinching government at the time who killed the project. He also killed the Shepherd Line in its entirety, and we ended up with just a short stump of a subway line. They really should have built the Eglinton Line before the Shepherd Line. That Premier Mike Harris was also the same guy who sold off the 407 costing the taxpayer billions of dollars in the long run. That's a publicly built toll highway that was privatized and excessively tolled in later years. And we've made it to Warden Avenue. So you could turn left here and take a very long, bleak walk down to Warden Station. Oh, there's a Five Guys Burgers just to the left. Someone's operating an RC car. That's pretty cool. There's a Vietnamese restaurant, a law office. Pet store, a thrift store, NYC clothing, a flea market, a jewelry shop, and a lot of big box retailers across the street. There's a brick, it's a large furniture retailer, there's a Best Buy over there on the right. Imagine these bike lanes will see some decent use come summertime, but it's really idiotic that they are not separated. They had the opportunity to build proper infrastructure, but the bike lanes were an afterthought, and you can really see that around Young and Eglinton. They're very narrow, but at least separated in some stretches, and other stretches there's just a painted line, and then in other stretches they don't exist at all yet. There's a Best Buy, a HomeSense, an Adonis. I think that's a big supermarket. A brick, a designer shoe warehouse, Dollarama. And 
Dolphin Gaming here. Get your gambling in. And there is the iconic Scarborough Bell Tower. It's 150 meters high. I think that's around 192 feet. That was a communications tower. Well, it still is built primarily for long wave radio. And it's still used for radio communications, but I think it's more utilized by cell phone carriers now. There is an Ontario Court of Justice. And another big strip mall on the left. This is the Eglinton Sound Town Center, which features a Cineplex Odeon, which I think uh, once upon a time was a famous player Silver City. Of course, Cineplex took them over. And more endless big box retailers on the right, a Smart Centers. It's really not the prettiest or most inviting of landscapes, especially not from a pedestrian point of view. But hopefully this LRT is a catalyst for change. Looks like this bus here is being taken out of service. This is Hakimi Lebovich. I don't think you'd call it a station, maybe just to stop. There's a Hakeem Optical. I wonder if that <laughs> is part of the name for the stop or if it's just a coincidence. There's the movie theater at the end of the plaza. a large old navy. They've shuttered their location in the Eaton Center recently. Starbucks. There's a Walmart over there. A Jollibee. Hey, here's someone using the new bike infrastructure. So we get home, I'm gonna hop on an Eglinton bus eastbound from Victoria Park. As you've seen, the frequency is quite decent. Just better look at that bell tower. And you can see that for quite a ways. someone who 
chose not to ride in the bike lane. So the next stop will be Pharmacy, and then the next major street after that will be Victoria Park. At one point, according to the Canadian Auto Association, Eglinton East here was the worst road in the province of Ontario. But part of the reason for that was this prolonged LRT construction. It really did a number on the road surface. I think it didn't make a whole lot of sense to resurface it until the LRT was nearing completion. Road conditions look much better now. I did an e-bike ride along it, I think about two years ago, showing off just how bad it used to be. That's a big housing project on the left here by Madame Homes. LRV testing underway. It says on the departure boards there. I had time to grab a pretty neat view of the LRT being tested. Those, I believe, are Bombardier built trains. some backup vehicles ordered from Alstom that I think will be making an appearance on the Finch LRT which will probably open before this one. And on the left is the Eglinton Square Shopping Center. That's a shopping mall that opened back in the 1950s. It was originally a strip mall but it was later converted to an indoor shopping mall. There are plans to put a lot of condos and mixed use buildings on this lot and completely redevelop this plot of land. And on the right is the Golden Mile Mall. That was originally a strip plaza. It was anchored by a movie theater. Severely damaged by a fire in the 1980s. And Loblaws opened a superstore there. But that later became a discount no frills.
how nice would it be just to be able to hop on a westbound LRT and glide over to Young and Eglinton. get a bit of a view towards the downtown skyline off in that direction. I can even see the CN Tower. I don't know if the zoom lens is picking it up. I'm going to try to make this light because there's no way to cross on the other side of the street. So we're going to cross over to the north side of Eglinton. Two-stage pedestrian crossing. That means don't expect to cross it all at once. That lady is waving at the U-Haul driver. And they wave back. Whoa! No, the people here are just like the rest of them in Toronto, and they, for the most part, have no idea how to drive. That's not true. Most people are pretty good. And we are at O'Connor, named after O'Connor Road, just to the south of here. We're here at the intersection of Victoria Park and Eglinton. We have the O'Connor stop. No one ever accused the folks at Metrolinx of being geniuses. And here's a bus stop I need. I'm guessing the bus is just gonna stop here and block traffic. Maybe I'll just mosey on over to the next one and sort of deal with what's ever going to unfold here. And I don't see a bus coming. western end of Scarborough. And despite being pretty close by, Google is telling me I am 29 minutes away from Oh man, the next stop is about five blocks west of here, but you know what? I see a bus. Is that a 34? No. <laughs> Welcome to Toronto. Well, we were in Toronto the whole time, but this is prior to 1998, Toronto proper. I'm gonna try to get to that next bus stop before the next bus.
This may have not been the best idea. Probably should have just wrapped up and waited there. Apparently, the bus is very close, and there's a stop straight ahead. Just according to Google, so I hope you enjoyed this one. Walking through Scarborough from Caddy Station along the Crosstown LRT as vehicles are undergoing testing to wherever the heck this is on Eglinton Avenue East. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below if you wish to support what I do on YouTube. There's links to my Patreon and YouTube channel membership down in the description. I have an Instagram account at Johnny Strides. And there is a super thanks button up here below the video. If you wish to say thanks that way. And it appears as if that bus is a ways from where we are, so I hurried myself up and started wrapping things up before it was necessary. There's a dog doing his business. You can hop on to a corridor that'll take you through Scarborough just on the right here. Nice biking and walking trail. This bus appears to be held up. But again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I will catch you on the next one. Yoink.